Opinionators. We are going to read a story today about a character who has a really strong opinion. An opinion is how someone feels about something. If they like something or if they don't like something. I have a strong opinion about teaching. Do you see my shirt? It says, there's no place like kindergarten. And then there's the the slippers, the red slippers that Dorothy wore in The Wizard of Oz. And she clicked her heels together three times. It brought her home and she would say, there's no place like home, there's no place like home. Well, right now I'm thinking, there's no place like kindergarten, there's no place like kindergarten. Because I miss it so much. In my opinion, kindergarten is the best grade to teach because I get to teach you and have fun at the same time. In kindergarten, we learn through playing and exploring. And that is the best way of teaching, in my opinion. So, in this story, The Watermelon Seed by Greg Pizzoli, we are going to hear about watermelons. Watermelons grow from a seed. Do you see these little black dots almost? Those are the seeds of the watermelon slice he's eating. Um, watermelons grow from a seed on a vine, just like pumpkins do. Remember when we learned about pumpkins? In kindergarten, we even got to feel the seeds. We opened up the pumpkin, we felt those seeds. Well, the seeds, just like in the pumpkin, are a little slimy in the watermelon. But the watermelon tastes sweet. You don't eat the seeds. If you ever see a black seed, you gotta spit it out if you put it in your mouth because you don't want to eat it. You'll see why in this book. And the part that you do eat, that pink part, that tastes sweet. And believe it or not, if you put some salt on top of it, people say that the watermelon will taste even sweeter because it already tastes sweet by itself. When we read, I want you to notice the big and bold words and the exclamation marks or the exclamation points or the shouty marks that the author will use within the book to show us that the crocodile is trying to get our attention. Also, Listen for the crocodile's opinion about watermelon and why he feels that way. This is The Watermelon Seed by Greg Pizzoli. He wrote the words and he drew the pictures. He made this book all by himself. The Watermelon Seed, Greg Pizzoli. I love watermelon. Chomp, chomp, chomp. It's the best. Ever since I was a teeny tiny baby crocodile, it's been my favorite. Chomp, slurp, chomp. If you look carefully, you can see the rinds, the outside of the watermelon. You don't eat that part. I like it for breakfast. I like it for lunch. I like a big salty slab for dinner. And I love it for dessert. I love watermelon. Gulp. I just swallowed a seed. I swallowed a seed! It's growing in my guts! The x-ray. Soon, vines will come out of my ears. My stomach will stretch. It's a big 
jelly. My skin will turn pink. I don't want to be in a fruit salad. Somebody please help me. Grumble, grumble. Oh no! I can feel it growling inside of me. It's happening right now. My stomach feels funny. Burp! Oh, here's the seed. That was too close. No more melon for me. Say the scout's honor promises. Never again! Well, maybe just a teeny tiny bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp! I don't believe him. That was the watermelon seed. So, I have some news. Don't worry. If you ever swallow a seed, it won't grow in your belly. A watermelon cannot grow inside your belly. All right, boys and girls, I can't wait to hear. Do you like watermelon? Do you love watermelon? Do you, you don't like watermelon? You've never tried watermelon, you don't know. If you haven't tried it yet, and you have the opportunity to try it, you should. If you haven't tried it, think, would you like it? Do you think you would like it? Have you ever tasted something that had a watermelon flavor, like a candy that was flavored watermelon? Hmm. Let me know. I can't wait to hear your opinion on watermelon.